She retained Medical University in Berlin. The history of the founding of the Charité Hospital. When did the first students apply and what did they learn? What is interesting and famous about this university? And what do you need to be able to study there? How do the universities of Humboldt, Charité and the Free University of Berlin cooperate? Hi, this is Ki and I am Gear. In this video, we will continue our acquaintance with the world-famous universities in Germany. Today, we will pay attention to the Charité Medical University in Berlin, which is an 80th place in the world ranking according to the Times Higher Education and is known all over the world for its medical centers. 19% its students are foreign. Charité University dates back to 1709. On November 14, 1709, King Frederick I of Russia ordered the construction of medical infirmaries in the suburbs of Berlin. Two decades later, Frederick Wilhelm I converted the infirmary into a civilian hospital. According to legend, on January 9, 1727, the king said, Here shall be the hospital and shall bear the name Charité. In 1724, the first students of the medical and surgical college appeared in the hospital. In 1795, the college was transformed into a military medical institute. From the first years of its existence, the university was famous for its medical practical work, where training took place mostly at the patient's bedside and not in the theoretical research of the Humboldt University in Berlin. Over time, the Charité Clinic and the Humboldt University so complemented each other that various Humboldt University clinics were built on the territory of Charité. Since then, Charité has been able to draw on the deep knowledge of the Humboldt professorship, and Humboldt University students have had the opportunity to practice in numerous Charité clinics. Subsequently, the University of Charité was famous for such names as Rudolf Virchow, Hermann von Helmholtz, Robert Koch, Paul Langerhans, Paul Ehrlich and Emil Adolf von Bering. In 2003, the medical faculties of the Charité Clinic were merged with the Free University of Berlin. Today, the University of Charité is located in four campuses, which employ about 19,000 employees. What does the official Charité site offer to us? The page is fully represented in English and German. We will continue our acquaintance with the English version. I suggest moving on to the teaching and learning item, an analog of the already known section study. In the center of the page, we see two subtopics – find a degree course and find a contact. In the find a degree course section, we are offered four main directions of the Charité University – medicine, dentistry, bachelor's degree programs and master's degree programs. For example, if we open the medicine branch, we can learn the current regulations for admission to this faculty and get a detailed description of the Faculty of Medicine on 18 pages of the PDF document. Let's pay special attention to how to become one of the 8,000 students of Charité. Through the link Advice and Guidance, Tips and Recommendations, we have access to six areas of this faculty, each of which offers a large amount of detailed information from the state exam to obtaining a doctoral degree. 
if there are difficulties in the search process or you just need to get an answer to a specific question, the university's hotline will help you. Here are the most frequently asked questions, as well as options for getting support. At the moment, it's possible to communicate by phone and by email. In the next video, we will get to know the University of Freiburg, which has the 86th place in the world ranking. Thank you for your time. See you!